Hello, Internet. So uh, today is a day 40 HRT update. We believe it's day 40. Um, not really so much to report in terms of physical changes at the moment, although we have uh, felt different. Um, we don't get as upset about things as we used to. Um, and we're taking things slower. Um, but the really big news for today was that yesterday we went to court and had our name legally changed. So we are no longer um, legally, according to the court, uh, going by our dead name. And uh, this is important. And it was a long, arduous thought process to go through. And we're still only just now sort of um, taking in the um, enormity of, of what we did. Because in case you didn't know, we're in our 50s. And this is, we're a late bloomer. <laughs> So to speak, and uh, you know, taking away 50 years of, of what um, you have always struggled with, your identity, is a, is a big challenge. It's a big thing. And we're happy and we are excited, um, but there's also that part of us that never thought something like this was possible. And so, that's what we're sitting with today. Um, and today's also um, Veterans Day in the United States. It goes by other names in other countries, Armistice Day or some stuff like that. And we've had a lot of people that we know uh, who've been in the military and various services in this country, other countries, you know, it doesn't matter to us. Um, in that sense, we we want to remember those those people, those human beings. So we wanted to read something that we posted on Instagram, uh, and hope that you will bear with us today. And let us know what you think in the comments. Uh, as always, this is unrehearsed, unpracticed, unscripted, and unedited. Um, so just so that you'll you'll get our you know immediate impressions, but. Um, Anyway, so we're reading this off, off the phone. <laughs> um, today is Veterans Day in the United States. It goes by other names in other countries as it signified a remembrance of the official end of the war to end all wars, World War I. We've had many members of our family and extended family who have served in the military. Our maternal great-grandfather served in World War I. Our grandfathers both served in the military our biological and stepfathers both served during the Vietnam conflict and other members of our family have served in numerous roles as well. We don't mean to exclude um, the women in our family who also served in military and also supported um, the efforts in those. Um, even though we never served in the military, we were rejected when we tried to apply because we were too crazy for them. <laughs> um, our life has been shaped by the devastation of war and the enormous human costs of conflict. Even in, in peacetime, we have dear friends who have served and continue to suffer the after effects. And we know that many serve because it is a ticket out of a bad situation or small towns with no future on the horizon, or a decent chance at higher education. There's no shame in wanting to do something for the benefits one can gain. We all need bootstraps in life. And so we strive to rise above politics, nationalism, xenophobia, fake patriotism, and focus on the people. 
The people on all sides of those arms are human beings, flesh and blood with families of their own, hopes and dreams. They laugh, they cry, they aspire as we all aspire to thrive. In war, the media becomes a weapon to shield the populace from the humanity of the other, because to feel empathy is to short circuit the drive to conquer. And so as we do on most Veterans Day, we will recall the words of William Tecumseh Sherman. I am tired and sick of war. Its glory is all moonshine. It is only those who have neither fired a shot nor heard the shrieks and groans of the wounded who cry aloud for blood, for vengeance, for desolation. War is hell. To all of those who have served and are serving as the sharp end of someone's saber, we wish you peace and healing and love. So that's our thoughts for today. Um, we, we write a lot and we have produced content before for a channel um, that's not related to our, our transition. But um, if you're interested in that and more of this, this kind of content, let us know uh, in the comments, like, subscribe. Thank you all for everyone who has. Um, big shout out to our friend Luna Jade, who is... Um, started a Patreon because they will be going through uh, working on getting bottom surgery. And that's a very extensive uh, process. And um, also shout out to uh, our other new friends that we've uh, met on YouTube uh, who have provided us with some wise counsel for our own journey. And um, we will talk to you next time. Oh, take care.